What's going on YouTube, GSNorit here, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to restore and fix an iPhone that is stuck in recovery mode or DFU mode or device firmware update mode and how to get it back to normal. And for that we're going to use Dr. Phone. So the Dr. Phone application is available from Wondershare, it's called Dr. Phone Repair, the module that we're going to use, but there are more modules available, there's a full toolkit for iOS available in here and also for Android. So the download is available for both Windows and Mac OS and it can fix various system issues with the um, device like the recovery mode, white Apple logo, black screen of death, boot looping and so on and to do that it will restore the iOS version. And of course in many cases the program is capable to preserve the data because it only updates the iOS, however if it cannot update it and it has to do an erase restore the data will be removed but the phone will be fixed. And if you want to have a reference guide available at hand when you're doing the procedure they do have an article called how to restore store iPhone, iPad or iPod from DFU mode with or without iTunes. And of course you can refer to this article in here and see exactly the entire procedure we're going to discuss, see exactly what buttons you have to press in order to get into the recovery mode or DFU mode. And of course as you can see from the images in here it supports both the old style connector devices like the iPhone 4s, 4 and so on and the new style ones with the lightning connector like the iPhone 7, 5 and so on. So you can see here the uh, method with iTunes which by the way gives you a lot of errors and it doesn't preserve your data most of the times and then of course you have the uh, Dr. Phone System Repair available for anybody who wants to try it and this software is actually more intended for beginners or for people who are not tech savvy but want to fix their device and don't want to mess with iTunes. Anyways let's see what the program can do. We're going to do this on a Mac and the installation on a Mac is very simple. You download the DMG file, it will mount as Dr. Phone app and all you have to do is to drag it and drop it in here into the applications in my case I already have it and that's pretty much it that's how you install it it's pretty simple and if I open iTunes you can see that when I plug in this device let me show you it will do this it says that there's a problem with the iPhone iPhone that requires it to be restored or updated Dated, so the phone will not start and it shows the iTunes logo and that's pretty much it. So in order to fix it I have to put it in DFU mode. To do that I press the power button and the home button in this case. So I'm going to wait for it to uh, reboot. There we go and after that I release the uh, power button but keep pressing the home button until iTunes recognizes it again. Nothing will be shown on the screen when the phone is in DFU mode. So as you can see it says that iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. It's in DFU mode, I don't know why iTunes says it's in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used. Now as I said nothing is shown on the screen for the moment because the phone is in DFU mode or device firmware update. More information about this mode can be found here in the article and also the combination of buttons that you need to do. So now in order to fix it and restore it I can use either iTunes which is quite flaky in my case and many times it simply gives errors or I can use this program which is tailored for beginners and very easy to use. So I'm gonna press repair in here here and the repair program will start. You can see it here in the uh, corner. So it says in here to avoid data overwritten by synchronization iTunes cannot be started when running the program. If you still want to use Dr. Phone Repair please close iTunes. I'm going to press close iTunes and there we go. So what I'm going to do is to press start in here and of course it's going to tell me more about the uh, problems that can occur with the cables and so on. I'm going to press ok in here and as you can see it automatically detected the phone including the fact that it's an old iPhone 5. That's why I wanted to use an iPhone 5 because many many programs nowadays cannot handle it. They will simply either ignore it or they simply do not have any idea how to handle the uh, iPhone 5 or the iOS 10.3.3. So as you can see it automatically detected the fact that it's an iPhone 5 and it detected the version that is supported which is in this case only 10.3.3 and I'm going to press download which is going to start the download process for the IPSW or the firmware that will be restored by the phone. Now the download may take a while because these files have 2-3 gigs in size and my internet connection here is not the best. But anyways 
I will be back once the download finishes and I'm going to show you how the repair proceeds. So the firmware has finally downloaded and as you can see here it says 10.3.3. .3. We're going to press fix now and the procedure will start. So as you can see for a beginner or somebody who doesn't have a lot of iOS knowledge or is not tech savvy, this is extremely useful and of course extremely easy to use. It says repairing and as you can see the progress bar is increasing in there. It says in here that it's going to take less than 10 minutes for the operation to complete. So we're going to give it 10 minutes and after that I'm going to be right back. So the repair is now complete. It says repair iOS normal completely. Please check whether the device is booted. If the device fails to boot, please restart the device and try again. Well, in my case it's completed and now the Apple logo is showing. So I'm going to press down and I'm going to open iTunes to show you that the phone is actually starting normally. And we're going to wait for it to pretty much show up the device. The first boot may take a few minutes in order to you know, get to the setup screen and so on. However, please keep in mind that if you do have a password on your phone, like an iCloud lock, you will have to log in into the iCloud for the activation of the device. So yeah, it vibrated and by the way, this has updated the device to that version and all my data is still present in there, which is actually quite nice. So I'm going to go ahead in here and as you can see it says that I'm running 10.3.3. The serial number is available in here and it's no longer saying that the device is not working and it needs to be restored. So all my data including my applications, the YouTube and so on are still installed which is something nice because this means that all my data is still in place and that is because the uh, iOS wasn't damaged that much as to require a full erase. In your case it may require it but if it doesn't your device will also be able to preserve the data. As you can see, in my case, it even preserved the jailbreak on it because it's the latest version available. If you're using an iOS 11 or iOS 12 device, it will update to the latest version. So this will not preserve your jailbreak if you're not running on a 32-bit device. Please keep that in mind. But anyways, as you can see, the device is now working. This is pretty much it, guys. Do not forget to check out the article if you need any guidance during the procedure. It's available in here, how to restore the iPhone, iPad or iPod in DFU mode with or without iTunes and you can see here everything that you need to know about the procedure with no data loss and of course the procedure is detailed in here with their program and how to put it in DFU mode and so on. So yeah if you don't know how to put it in DFU mode you can connect it in normal mode or in whatever mode it starts and you will have the guide in there on which buttons you should press. So definitely a very great guide. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, check the program out in the description down below, until the next time, peace out.